This video was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, let me see the chat. I love your work. Thank you. Uh, when making a 2D game, would it be best to make the initial scenes no 2D or general node, node is fine? So, uh, when you are making a 2D game, you have to think that most of the things will need a position and for that you will need a Node2D because Node2D support position on the screen. But it depends a lot. Uh, it depends on what you are actually trying, uh, what's the level of the game that you are talking about. Uh, so for instance, let, let me show you how Munchiser works. Uh, Munchiser starts with a node, a simple node, because uh, it, it is an abstraction of the game itself. So the game itself, the, the actual game object, the thing that controls the the um, the flow of the game, uh, what screen should be shown, uh, what's the score of the player, all these game-related things, doesn't need position. It doesn't need any vector to. It doesn't need anything position wide, position wise. So you don't actually need a Node 2D for that. But, for instance, if you are making uh, the level, let me see level. The level itself needs a position because all the other things that will be inside of it will need a, a related position to this top level, level node. Uh, this is because for the sake of spawning, for instance, if you want to spawn a, uh, for instance, a comet here on Moon Chaser. Uh, the the position, the relative position of the spawner, makes difference if it uh, the the position of the level changes. So the level itself will also need the position for that. But for for other objects where even the the child, uh, the children need the position. For instance, the level will be instantiated as a child of the, the top level game node, or in this case, the Moon Teaser node. But um, since it will always spawn on the zero point, on the zero zero point of the screen, uh, it doesn't make any difference if the, the Moon Teaser node or the game node is a node 2D or a node, a common node. So, uh, for optimization purpose, so that we don't load the, the Node2D properties and Node2D class members and al uh, allocate memory for that, I just decrease, I just decrease the, the, the hierarchy to a simple node. So, in short, a short answer is, it depends. Do you, do you actually need a position for the, the top level node? Or uh, if not, just go with a simple node. Uh, if you really need it, use a node 2D.